Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again, this time with a Division video. Very exciting. Uh, the Division, if you've been under rock, has just released as of, I think it was around last week. And it's been awesome. I've been playing the shit out of it, and it's been a lot of fun. Enjoyed it thoroughly so far. It's uh, definitely got a lot of content, and a lot of potential for future content as well. So it's really exciting, and uh, with this game coming out, and it being one of those console MMOs similar to Destiny, I wanted to have a bit of a conversation on whether this game could actually be the future for Ubisoft outside of Assassin's Creed. Now the reason I say this is this movement of these online multiplayer games. At least that's the focus of it, of course there is the single player elements to it, but it is an online MMO primarily. Now this comes in different forms, obviously this is similar to Destiny in terms of its style of console MMO, there being a character that you customise, develop, upgrade and level up, doing missions that can be done as a solo player or with friends, with somewhat of a PvE camp for pain as well as of course there's a PvP element to it. Now there's plenty with this generation of consoles of multiplayer games that we haven't seen before besides the basic FPS. Uh, with your arena multiplayer or battlefield style multiplayer that we see with COD and Battlefield and Halo and things like that. We've kind of moved on a bit. There's a lot of different games coming out and a lot of things we're different seeing with MOBAs and these MMOs for consoles. Destiny being the first one, one that I did enjoy to an extent, but uh, for me it just didn't at least hold up in its first year with the content that it released with, though it did become worthwhile as more content came out and you could really continue to play and it gave you a reason to play after finishing what is called quote unquote the main campaign. Whereas I feel like The Division 1 is a more enjoyable game in my opinion, I've had a lot more fun playing it, it's a more uh, inviting world that Ubisoft have created, a more immersive experience. In this multiplayer game there is somewhat of a story there most certainly and there's also a lot of content and it's just a lot of fun to play it doesn't feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over again even though there are a lot of missions that are of a similar style there's enough variety there that it doesn't feel boring at least as of yet at any point I think I'm around level 20 at the moment with my character so I played a bit not, not a huge amount I haven't managed to finish the main story missions or that sort of stuff, and I haven't done my Dark Zone yet, but hopefully I could do some videos later. But in terms of something for Ubisoft, they've focused so long on Assassin's Creed, and using that success to kind of fund other projects and new IPs, they've managed over the last few years to build up Far Cry as quite a legitimate selling franchise for them, after Far Cry 3 success with Far Cry 4 and now Far Cry Primal. We had the release of the first Watch Dogs that was a success to a certain level and hopefully uh, continues further with the next Watch Dogs games in the future. However, I think the most universal success since Assassin's Creed has been so far The Division. I really haven't heard any bad words about The Division in terms of people that are into these style of games. Of course there's people that aren't even in to these MMO style games, which is fair enough. It isn't for everyone. Me, myself primarily, I'm into those action adventure games like Assassin's Creed or Watch Dogs and things like that. I like there to just be a story in a game and the rest I can just kind of roam around doing stuff. The thing I like about The Division in comparison to something like Destiny, let's say, is the fact that it feels a bit like an action adventure game with an MMO factor to it. Like, I don't always play with my friends when I get a chance to, I'll play with my brother and stuff like that, and we'll jump around and do missions, but I can sit there by myself and thoroughly enjoy the experience of the world I'm in. It's a beautiful looking game, I'm into customising my character, but it's fun to jump around and doing those story missions, helping the world that they've put me in develop and grow and making that sort of solo progress, but at the same time knowing I can have a great time playing some fun missions with friends in a multiplayer sense. As well as there being the element again of the Dark Zone, where it's a whole different experience itself, going in to try to get the best gear you possibly can with your friends or by yourself, but you've got that fear and potential of coming up against opposing players. There's definitely a lot to like about The Division, there's a lot of content so far, and seeing what's to come, still with the season pass and expansions that are coming, there's 
definitely a lot more content and who knows in a year's time if someone was to pick it up then there's going to be so much content to do for this game it's most certainly in my opinion worth the money to buy and it could definitely have the potential with sequels and things like that to grow to an even bigger franchise that could very well be the future of Ubisoft especially since Assassin's Creed is now taking a year off and not releasing in 2016 Ubisoft does have a chance to really push a franchise forward and this is the perfect time I think for the division to come out because they realize now I think Ubisoft that you need to be focusing on content and continuous releasing of content throughout not just the release of the game that's it we wash our hands of it let's move on to the next project but you release a game you spend time developing future content for that game expansions and being able to really keep people's interest and a continuous playing of this game to want to either create multiple characters to try a different playstyle or with the same character play with friends in a different way uh, find the best gear and things like that there's definitely many benefits to these MMO style games and them becoming such a popular thing with De uh, Destiny's huge success and after seeing the beta and release of The Division lots of people seem to love it as well so it's great to see a game of quality that you can tell a lot of time has been put into it you know it's not perfect by any means but it's definitely a really high quality game that I think could very well be the future for Ubisoft in terms of a game to focus on with the way gaming seems to be going in the future. With all these different multiplayer styles and games kind of becoming more focused on that multiplayer experience, not just the PvP elements but also a PvE experience in a story sense, this is definitely a great starting point for The Division as a franchise and it's a great starting point for Ubisoft to really see where people and gamers want to go in the future. I don't want to see the end of just the single player experiences with action adventure games such as Assassin's Creed, not at all, I don't want to see that, but The Division is most certainly Ubisoft following a trend that's going on in gaming today, there's no doubt about it that this is where gaming seems to be going and where people seem to really want to focus their time, I mean, you, the hardcore fans of Destiny I know play it all the time over the past two years, it's just the game they always go back to, sure they'll jump into this new game then they'll jump straight back to Destiny when they're done because they want to keep playing it with the continuing support that Bungie gives that game with content and I feel this could be the, very well the same with The Division I hope to see that with The Division as it goes forward. There's a lot of potential as a basic story in the franchise for future cities, for future settings to grow this even further. Who knows where they could take it, whether it not just be cities but also more of a bigger scoped game and even with expansions where they're going to go content wise whether whether it's going to be more mission based see raids kind of come into it where you kind of work towards a super hard style mission where you can get some great rewards and have a lot of fun with friends but also even future locations as part of New York with the division expansions there's a lot to be excited about with this and I think a lot of potential for this to be the next big thing Ubisoft really focuses on so we'll just have to wait and see in terms of that. I've had a lot of fun with it. I'd like to know what you guys think of The Division so far. If you think this is really the future for Ubisoft as a franchise or at least as the key concept of Ubisoft following the trend of these console style MMOs such as The Division and Destiny. So thanks guys heaps for watching. I'll be doing more Division videos. I've got a ton of my plays The Division coming out soon. As well as I'm sure more videos may be somewhat of a review to come we'll see but i very much enjoyed the game so far let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i will see you guys next time